Dear children, today I am going to tell you about local self-government in cities. Before this, I want to remind you that in class third you have studied about Gram Panchayat in lesson Indian Villages. As you know that in every village there is Gram Panchayat or you can say Gram Sabha. The people who are 18 years and above and are living in that village elect the member of Gram Panchayat and an elected member of Gram Panchayat is called Panch and one of the member is chosen as the head called Sarpanch or Pradhan. They are elected for the term of 5 years. So, what is the work of Gram Panchayat? Yes, their work is to improve the facilities in village like electricity, regular water supply, good roads, schools, health centers, etc. Children, in the same way, in the cities also, the facilities like uh, electricity, regular water supply, good roads, schools, health centers, colleges, etc. are provided by the government. Children, this chart will help you to know more about the local and the self-government. So children, in our country, the government works at three levels. They are called central, state and local level. The local self-government or the government elected by the people at the local level provides civic amenities to the people. In a village, the Gram Panchayat provides these amenities to the people. In towns and cities, these are provided by municipal committee or municipal corporation. The local government which looks after a small city is called a municipal committee. These are also known as Nagar Palika or Nagar Nigam. Cities with a population of more than 10 lakh have municipal corporations. Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Ahmedabad and Pune have municipal corporations. It is also known as Mahanagar Palika or Mahanagar Nigam. So children, now let us know about the members of the municipal committee or corporation. The members of the municipal committee or corporation are elected by the people who live in that city. For the purpose of election, the city is divided into small units. These units are called wards. So people who are 18 years of age and above can give the their votes and elect the members. One member is elected from each ward. Elections are held every five years. Clear? Now the elected members are called municipal councillors. And the head of the municipal committee is called chairperson or chair president and the head of the municipal corporation is called a mayor and the mayor is assisted by a deputy mayor. Means in the absence of mayor, deputy mayor looks after the work of mayor. Now children, let us know what local self-governing bodies do. Yes, the local self-governing bodies Keeps the city clean, build and repair roads, install 
and repair street lights set up and maintain public toilets open and run dispensaries healthcare centers and hospitals provide free education to children from poor families management of fair etc it also record the birth and death of the area to fulfill these requirements the local governing bodies need money so children can you think what is the source of income of uh, these local bodies yes it's taxes have you ever heard about tax tax is an amount of money that you have to pay to the government so that it can pay for public services such as roads schools etc so all local bodies collect money through taxes like property tax road tax water tax and so on the state government also give them money so children we must cooperate with the local bodies in our area we must help them in whatever ways we can this is all about the local self government in cities now children you find out whether your city has municipal committee or municipal corporation also find out the head of the municipal committee or municipal corporation now children in your book page number 123 in fact wise it is given that the chennai municipal corporation was set up in 1688 it is the oldest municipal corporation in india it is also the second oldest in the world after london so that's all about this chapter have a nice day